I'm Eric, I'm KC8XJ, and I'm with Universal Radio, uh, and today we're very excited to uh, bring an overview on ICOM's brand new transceiver. This is their IC7300, and this is a very innovative radio that's brand new on the market. This is a 100 watt transceiver that covers HF bands 160 through 6 meters. One of the most interesting things about this is, is it's one of the first uh, transceivers on the market that uses a direct sampling SDR radio as the receiver. This radio's got a very brilliant color touch screen and I think is probably one of the most fluid and easy to use radios on the market right now. Before this radio hit the market, you had to spend three or four thousand dollars on a on a radio that has the the scope features built in, or have a radio that's hooked up to a computer to to let it handle all of the processing, and to see all of this brought into one compact standalone package um, is just amazing. And especially at this uh, mid-priced range, this radio can look across an entire band and you can watch on the waterfall screen all of the signals that are being received and there's a variety of features in here that make it very easy to tune around and and jump to frequencies just an amazing addition into icom's line and uh, people have been really happy and excited about its performance the receiver in it does very well uh, definitely stands toe to toe with a lot of other radios in its price range but what separates this radio is all of the eye candy. Um, the beautiful display and all of its features that it's able to do. Uh, it really lets you have a huge variety of tools that are very useful for somebody doing digital work or, or Morse code and CW. One of the really interesting features that's in this 7300 is it's got a built-in SWR meter and antenna analyzer functions, which uh, it's got some really neat graphs. Uh, just by clicking in the menu button and going to SWR, it'll change the bottom of the scope to the screen and you can take new readings. Um, you can set your frequency step and how many measurement points you've got. When you hit the play button and you key the mic, it'll make an SWR reading for each point. and display it on the graph as you can see here. So I think having that feature built in uh, gives you a very good idea of the antenna's SWR and performance at any given frequency. But to know just from here, you can see our antenna's tuned really well down in the low section, but as we go into the higher part of the band, the antenna's less efficient. And having this information and being able to get this out of an HF rig is just a really awesome tool to have at your disposal. Another nice feature, which is uh, pretty good for a radio of this size, it also has an internal auto tuner. Most of the internal tuners are in this, you know, you got to be in that three to one range, and I would definitely say this is true for this, but it's a great thing to have that built in. Uh, gives you a little more versatility when you're working with stuff out in the field. Some of the interesting windows and things that you can bring up and see um, first of all, you can change how wide your scope screen goes just by hitting the span button. And you can see here each time it cycles through it broadens out so you can look at just a small portion of a band or view a large portion of the band. Then you can also expand this out to take up a, a large portion of the screen and really get an idea of, of what's going on over an entire band just at a quick glance, which I think is amazing. Uh, especially in a radio in this price range. Just to mention a few other things, there's some nice audio scope features that are in here. And if you hit the menu button and go into the audio screen, you'll see it splits up and it'll give you an oscilloscope view of the signal you're currently receiving. This is going to be an audio waterfall, and then you still got a smaller spectrum scope that runs across the top. These are going to give you a lot of great information, and uh, in the audio screen especially, you can start watching when you adjust your filters up here. You can start seeing the effect on the corner of the waterfall here right away of what you're doing when you're adjusting your filters uh, in the radio. And, and that's just another thing as far as the twin passband tuning and the audio scopes that are really a big advantage because you can see your audio signal and what your filters are modifying to know right away exactly what your filters are doing on your on your setups. You're going to get the radio, a standard hand mic, 
Also comes with the DC cord that's fused. All of that stuff is pretty common. Uh, good owner's manual. They also give you a CD copy that has the most up-to-date owner's manual. Being that this radio is so new, the online version and the CD version I think was a more complete than the print version of the manual, but uh, between the two of them it definitely covers the major features of the radio. The other thing we wanted to get into and mention is just some of the connections and the stuff that's real common on the back. The power connector is the standard square four pin power plug. Uh, still uses the same flat four pin connector for the tuners. Down in the bottom is a, a pretty common in the ICOM line, their 13 pin DIN for the accessory port. This also has a USB port, which is going to be great for connecting to the computer or doing more digital work. You're going to be able to get audio and all of your data and cat control features in and out through USB. So this is a radio with an integrated sound card. You're not going to have to deal with a, another interface between the radio and the computer especially when you run it with USB. This radio has an SD card slot that's on the front of it. You can store some recordings. You can actually capture images that are on your scopes and store that as a bitmap on the SD card. Also for updating the firmware, you copy the firmware files after you've downloaded and unzipped them from ICOM onto the card and the software to update its firmware is built into the radio. So you just need to tell it, hey, you have new files to find and all of that's detailed in the manual, but this radio is a very easy radio to update the firmware compared to others that are on the market. Please look at our website. We're at www.universal-radio.com and look at the webpage for this. There's a huge amount of accessories as far as desk mics and other speakers and things that are available that work well with this model. We were very excited to bring you a good close look at the ICOM 7300 and uh, definitely a very innovative radio to have out on the market.